Hi, and welcome to another video here at Street Smart Options. Folks, today we're going to be talking about options trading versus stocks. So obviously you can trade all kinds of different uh, methods and all kinds of different uh, uh, products uh, on the stock market. And uh, there's uh, lots of different things you can do and different ways you can do it. Obviously, we have our own methods here at Street Smart Options. And if you're not in our free Facebook group, you're missing out on opportunities to see new videos like this as they pop up. You can easily find us on Facebook by searching SSO, and that will pull up Street Smart Options group on Facebook. It is a closed group, so you have to ask to join. But uh, once you join, you get to see free videos like this. So, Jonathan, today you're going to talk about the difference between stock options versus stocks. Go ahead. Yeah, so this is a common question, you know, especially when people aren't too familiar with options trading is, you know, they ask about options trading versus stocks. And it's uh, obviously options are a derivative of stocks and the performance of an options trade uh, depends upon what happens to the underlying. In this case, so options can be used in a number of different ways. And one way is with leverage. So for example, I have in front of me a watch list of stocks. This is actually uh, an individual chart that we're looking at now, but it's part of a list of charts um, that I scan and is also available to our subscribers at Street Smart Options. And it's, uh, it's a real-time list of watch list where you know, we find opportunities. And so, in this case, you know, I'm scanning stocks, right? So you can look for a stock trade and then uh, and then convert and then, you know, see if it's a potential options trade. And so uh, there are certain trades. Now, I'm not saying these are this is just a watch list and some stocks can be set up. Some stocks aren't. But, you know, we want to find something that for uh, for an options trade, that's a more expensive stock, right? That's maybe trading at least at least thirty dollars a share. I don't trade really don't put an options trade on anything under thirty dollars a share, and has liquidity. You know, trades a lot of shares, right? This thing only over the past week traded one hundred thirty-five thousand shares, so it's not very liquid. And even if it had options, I wouldn't want to be trading something that's so illiquid, right? You really, really want to see something more in the order of at least um, at least a million or more, you know, shares traded per week. Uh, preferably, you know, a couple million or more. So uh, I'm going to fast forward ahead here to a to a stock that looks like a setting up, and it, it would be interesting from a options trading standpoint. And uh, it is uh, eHealth. Yeah, see if I can find it here. So I'll use this as an example of a, of a stock that you could trade either as an options trade. Or a stock trade. So, if you were to get into this as a stock trade, and you're going to buy 100 shares right now, this would cost you uh, the close as of Friday. This is a we're, trading, we're, we're uh, recording this on a Sunday. Was $62. So it would cost you $6,200 if you were to buy 100 shares. On the other hand, uh, you could, for example, buy a deep in the money call option on this. Say you wanted to buy the 50 strike calls. The 50 strike calls are going to be trading, but depending on the expiration, how much time value is left, but it's going to be trading north of 62 minus 50, so north of $12. So to control 100 shares, um, it's 12 times 100, so it's $1,200, right? So for $1,200 as opposed to $6,200, you can control a deep in the money call option on this. And so now, it's a leveraged position, so if this stock goes up, your $12, if it, if say this thing goes up $12, well, you just doubled your money, right? Because your, your cost was, it's, I'm just going to say it's 12, it's actually going to be more than that because you have time value in this. But if, you, if, your, if, your, if your option goes up $12 or $15, you've, you've doubled your money on this. And so it's, you've leveraged your investment. Now, of course, this can go down. So as you know, with leverage, it works both ways. And so you want to cut losses if this thing goes down. But your losses are capped also at only that $1,200. You can't lose more than $1,200.
So that's one of the big differences between stocks and options is the amount of money you come out of pocket, for, especially for a directional trade like this, like a deep in the money call trade, uh, you, you can really uh, leverage your assets. Now, the other thing about options is they are a wasting asset. So uh, the part that wastes, the, I should say the value part that wastes is the time value. So this has an, a deep in the money call option like this has intrinsic value, 62 minus 50. So that's not going to go away unless the stock goes down. So at expiration, it's going to be worth at least $12. So you're not going to lose that at expiration. But what, what you will lose is if, if this deep in the money call option is trading, say, at 15, you're going to lose that 15 minus 12, which is $3 time value. And so there's also you could buy... you. Uh, I, I prefer to trade deep in the money call options on a, on a trade like this, on a directional trade. Uh, but you can also buy you know, at the money call options. Now, an at the money call option on this, I don't have the options uh, chain in front of me. But say, for example, there was a $62.5 strike on this. And I'm, I'm not quite sure if there, there is or isn't, especially on, on, the, uh, on the monthlies on this. But say if there was a $62.5 strike price and it was at the money, then your you know the option itself may be selling for five dollars or something. Say it's three months out. So that that is all time premium. So if the stock does nothing, you're going to lose that five dollars. So that's another big difference between options and stocks is that you have a time premium that goes to zero at expiration. Uh, and so if you have you can also buy an out of the money you know call option on this. Say you buy the 70s. Well, that's going to have a time premium too, right? And maybe it costs you about two dollars or something like that three months out, maybe a dollar fifty, and you know that's going to go to zero. So that's a you know that's a risky trade. It's a pretty risky trade, right? You're d d counting on this thing to go over 70 uh, in three months' time, and if it doesn't, you lose your entire investment. So. That is one of the big differences. Now, the other thing is, it's options are defined risk. So, uh, in if you go long an option, it's defined risk. So, if you actually purchase an option, you're only risking the value of the option, right? And so, uh, I mean, it's with a stock too. If a stock goes to zero, you're going to lose your investment, right? You're only losing, you're, you're risking the the value of the stock. But because you, options are typically leverage instruments, you're not going to put as much on as you would with a stock trade. So, uh, you know, with this, with this stock, as we mentioned, you're going to put in $6,200. But uh, with our defined risk trade, we're only risking $1,200. So there's that part of options trading, which is different than stocks. Um, and then the other thing is with options is, you know, I've been talking about directional trades. And so where you go long a call, and of course you can go long a put, which would uh, go up if the stock price went down, right? Especially, you know, stock prices tend to go down a lot faster than they go up. So if you have to time it right, your put can really rock it really quick. Um, and it would be, you know, those are typically faster trades, you know, maybe uh, two-week trades or three-week trades, as opposed to upside, long side trades. The stock market tends to go up a little slower, right? Um, climbs the stairs and then falls off the cliff, you know, and so. Um, but those those put options can really rock it in price, and that's another way. You know, you can speculate on a fall in the market and make a lot of money using put options. Now, the other way to trade options, which is completely different than stocks, I mean, it's obviously this is a derivative, is you can actually sell options to uh, to actually earn that premium, that time premium, right? So these are wasting assets. And the one strategy is to sell options so that you can capture that wasting asset. So for example, with this stock, if you were to sell the 70s, and this stock is setting up potentially for a big run up, so I certainly wouldn't want to do that. But I'm just saying as an example, uh, if you sell the 70s here for you know a dollar fifty whatever, uh, and it's you have two months to expiration, after two months if it doesn't go up, it doesn't close over 70, you're going to pocket that money, right? So I say it's dollar fifty, but these things trade in uh, buckets of 100 shares, so that's actually 150 dollars. So you would pocket the 150 dollars taking on that risk. And now you can now the thing is with options too is you can you can hedge your uh, your trades too. So, say for example, you sold the 70 up here for dollar fifty, call right. You could actually buy maybe the 80 call, which would maybe sell for you know 30 cents or something like that. And so you would like it would be like this. They call it a spread. You're buying 
the 70 for dollar 50 and then you're uh, I'm sorry you're selling the 70 for dollar 50 and you're buying the 80 to kind of hedge your bet so if this thing goes up from 70 to 80 you'll lose you'll lose that ten dollars that's a thousand dollars if you buy one contract but your losses are um, are limited right after 80 you're not going to lose anymore so it's a hedged trade so um, so you have a defined potential gain of your hundred fifty dollars and a defined potential loss of a hundred dollars as opposed to like an unlimited potential loss and uh, and so that's another way to uh, that options is different than stocks is you can control your risk very defined risk have very very defined objectives and very defined risk uh, and then there's there's lots of um, you can get pretty complicated with with options trading because you can take advantage of um, a decrease. You can profit from decrease in volatility in the overall market. You can put on trades that uh, that benefit from that. Um, you can put on trades that benefit from uh, you know things that are called delta neutral. Uh, so there's there's lots of complicated strategies you can put on. I like to keep it simple. I like to trade deep in the money options. I, I'll put on an occasional. Um, an occasional put. Um, I also trade uh, deep in the money spreads uh, on the long side bull, bull call spreads they call them or vertical spreads. Uh, I won't get into all the details of all that, but there's but there's certain high probability trades you can put on versus uh, with with uh, with streets with options and that that give you more flexibility than stocks. With stocks, you're just going to be you know long the company. With options, you can define your risk and leverage your leverage your trade. So that's all I'm going to say right now about options trading versus stocks. All right. Fantastic, Jonathan. Thank you for that. And folks, if you're if you're watching us on your YouTube channel and you like that video, consider giving us a like. Consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you're going to do all of that, you might as well hit that bell icon button so you don't miss other great videos like this that's coming from Street Smart Options. This is all 100% free content to help you understand the market a little better. And by all means, if you're looking for help and you're looking for assistance to actually learn how to do this and trade, you can also find us on the, on the web at streetsmartoptions.com where we have a special offer for you if you want to get started trading stock options. Thanks and have a great day.